Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, uh, according to the Nigeria police, they have arrested the most dreaded, most wanted blogger in the whole of Nigeria. That is Gist Lover. The creators of Gist Lover, according to the Nigeria police, they have arrested the creators of the most dreaded most wanted bloggers in Nigeria. And what was their crime? Cyber stalking. Threat to life. So I do not know, guys. Now, this lover be this. Are these just lovers? <laughs> Are these just lovers, guys? I'm asking the question. Can somebody answer me? Now, this lover be this. Are these just lovers? <laughs> so the statement read: "I said the Nigeria Police Force, uh, National Cyber Crime Center, acting on the petition at the instance of uh, Honorable and Doctor Mrs. Sheyi have arrested three in connection with a case of conspiracy, cyber stalking, and threat to life." The statement read: "Upon arrest, the suspect revealed their various degree." Of involvement in the conspiracy, collaborating the already available overwhelming evidence. The first suspect, Adebo Kulo Kolakbo, aka Omo Baba, this lover, aka Omo Baba, this lover, was responsible for the creation of over 80% of the gist lover pages thereby leading his digital footprint for the prep, uh, preparation perpetrators of the aforementioned criminal act being on the payroll of the said platform and having enjoyed incentive like car gift and monies Adebo Kule was saddled with the responsibility of scouting, editing, and captioning content, including the cyber stalking post made against Complant Honorable and Dr. Mrs. Olu Sheyi, has also contributed in laundering monies gotten from the illegal scheme through various means. In more development, Digital forensic analysis led to the recovery of eight this lover page created on the instructions of the head of the syndicate by Ade Bokula and wallet address using in laundering this money. Ah, that in English, that really was too much. <laughs> But all the same, guys, uh, I do I see I've never seen this lover before. I don't know who this lover is. Do you guys recognize these people? Are they these lovers? <laughs> they say one of them, prime suspect, is responsible in creating 80% of this lover content. This lover pages. So who is the real this lover? <laughs> See, a gist lover, I don't know, man. They don't know who be the real gist lover. Today, they will say, nah, to the gist lover. <laughs> and that gist lover, and that day, this lover go blast to the gist lover. Over one issue. Tomorrow, they will say, nah, yabo, to the gist lover. <sighs> that very week, this lover go blast to yabo, to Tomorrow they will say that can you no lawyer will be this lover. Next tomorrow they will say that I can keep blessing. Even as a time they say that blesses you. They say that all those celebrities, they, uh, one of them, some of them, they do this lover. Up to today, this lover, they don't know who it be. So my own is that, have they truly arrested this lover?
is this lover among these persons? Mm -hmm. So they said the second suspect, one Ide Inemu Inedum, also shared in the conspiracy, wherein at every point the page was taken down for certain infraction of violation of policy at the instance of report from law enforcement agency. The suspect using his platform will by all means redirect traffic to the new page, helping the blog to invade to invade section, enjoying excessive like referrals for promotion from the head of the syndicate. Nedum has also been found sharing content, feedbacks, and making defamatory remarks with the said head of the syndicate. The third suspect, Isaac, a 30 years old male resident at Algangdu, Lagos State, unlike the Dua above, is like hundreds of Nigerians who, having observed the lucrative nature of the blackmailing, cyber stalking, and false information market, decided to imitate the Gislover blog. By so doing, created several of such page and, minor, and mirror the activities of the blog, including reposting the defamatory and life threatening posts against compliant and many other notable Nigeria digital forensic led. To the recovery of four this lover page created by Isaac. Okay, the first suspect they said is working directly with this lover. The second suspect is responsible whenever this lover lost her page, lost his page or her page, he will be the one to open another new page and redirect traffic to that page. Meanwhile, the third person is just someone. Who is just copying this lover post and creating his own this lover pages and posting it there just to also try to scheme people or maybe create his own uh, platform? I don't know why. You know, some people they do. Uh, some people will go as far as using your own need to create another account and be using it to do some fraudulent issues. Then land the third person into Wahala. So now I've read it. I'm not. Uh, I I didn't read it before before coming here. So I read it and I know for sure they have not actually captured this lover. Apparently, they captured people who are working with this lover. So they, these people might just be people who have fake accounts of this lover. Who is this lover? And anybody opening fake accounts for someone. Anybody opening fake account hmm, with somebody's name, anybody opening fake account with somebody's name, that person just know it now is going to be doing some uh, illegal fraudulent stuff. Why are you opening an account with this lover? Huh? Why don't you open yours? So guys, they have no arrest. There are no things they do arrest this lover. You'll be so surprised. This lover posted eight hours ago. You'll be so surprised. This lover will post again. We have so many just lovers online that we do not even know the real just lover anymore. Today they will say na to to Diki. Tomorrow they will say na Yabu Ojo. Next tomorrow they will say na this person, na this person. <laughs> Very soon, eh, this lover will be a hero, a faceless hero. Yet again, I want to con uh, commend the police. If anybody is using an account to defraud people, eh, or in the name of blog and this law, that person should be arrested. If you are passing information and sharing it with that person, be like, be like, you know what? This information is here. I don't want to leak it. But if you do not send me money, I'm going to leak the information. All those people eh, should be arrested. And Dealt with severely. Hmm? I don't have sympathy towards them. Me, my own. I don't go ever use my blog. Tete Pensi say, I'll pass any money. I'm not into that kind of a lifestyle at all. 
All I know is that I react, I make reaction videos over some news and everything. That's all. Reaction videos and I talked about it. That's all. For anybody out there making all those crazy stuff, they will catch you one day and you will be dealt with.